Okay, guys, so we have uh, severe weather that is um, moving through the south, and we've had uh, a lot of reports of damage, and we actually, um, there was a confirmed EF2 tornado, um, I believe in Oklahoma, um, that touched down earlier this morning, I think around 6.30 a.m., these storms are just moving out of Oklahoma, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at all these reports here of, uh, severe weather damage, um, massive storm, guys, I mean, you got two sides of it, you got the blizzard side right now that's causing problems in the Dakotas, like, um, I forecasted, sorry about the late update, guys, um, because I was at school, so, um, I'm gonna give you a full update later. This is just a little update for now. We have a little flood, um, flood report right here. Got a flash flood over, just water over the road. Um, a big area for flood watches. A lot of scattered flood warnings around Mississippi. Just scattered around Mississippi right now. Uh, let's, yeah, I want to take a look at these reports of severe weather. I'm gonna, you know, try and find you our, all right, right here, so, yep, okay. This is our tornado, uh, report. So, an EF2, confirmed EF2 tornado in Wayne, Oklahoma. Um, you know, this doesn't show that, um, you know, it was confirmed as an EF2, but we, but we had a last, we, this was the last update at, um, at 3.45, um, I mean, this, this storm is just, you know, really just changing people's lives. I mean, I know the South has been through a lot, you know, in terms of tornadoes, but I mean, guys, this is crazy. What I'm reading is really shocking me. This is, we got, all right, we got hail. In Balco, Oklahoma, we got estimated ping pong ball to tennis ball size hail while viewing through a window while sheltered in place. Okay, so um, these storms have brought large hail um, to Oklahoma, northern, uh, northern, northwestern Oklahoma. So a lot of hail in northwest Oklahoma, but. Um, these storms moved in in the early morning hours, so um, I'm pretty sure right now is the time frame for tornadoes because look at all these reports over here. These are all, you know, thunderstorm wind damage reports right here. Um, and we got another tornado report. Five photos of damage to buildings and commercial businesses near Grapevine. Grapevine Mills on social media. Damage starts back at Sam's Club and Grapevine. Okay, so we got another confirmed, um, not sure if that one's confirmed, but we have another tornado report. We have some, uh, thunderstorm wind damage, reports of a tree damage near Blue Ridge. So, just north, northeast of McKinney, in the McKinney area, we have some, uh, you know, tree damage reported, uh, a lot of, you know, thunderstorm wind damage, damage to two residential structures in an outbuilding southeast of Lake Leon. So, um, yeah, a lot of wind damage in Texas right now. So, um, you know, these storms are going to bring damaging winds. So, if you um, are forecasted to get hit by any of these, little outbursts of severe weather right here. Any of these cells of severe weather, take take cover and prepare because any one of these can change, you know, just possibly change your life. I mean, one of these may have a tornado on the ground, even if, and we might not even be able to see it. So, I mean, it's a very dangerous situation. Um, I could be wrong, but the National Weather Service might just issued might have just issued a 
PDS warning, or PDS tornado warning, which stands for particularly dangerous situation, and then you can either have a watch or a warning. We have a torn another. Okay, we got another. Okay, um, so that tornado, guys, was actually the tornado from the la the other uh band of severe weather that actually is way out to sea now. So that that was an old update. So storm uh, storms firing up in Little Rock right now. So Little Rock, watch out, guys. But I'm focusing on these storms right now. These are, you know, the main storms. This guy, this is just really, you know, really tough. And Texas, I feel particularly bad for Texas because most of the, you know, main actions in Texas, and that doesn't leave at Oklahoma because he had that tornado this morning. Some, some, uh, a lot of thunderstorm wind damage in Texas. It's just scattered. Um, I'm going to shift to the northeast just real quick, guys. Got a lot of, you know, snow reports. If you guys want to check out, I actually got some snow. Um, I live on Long Island right here where my blue dot is. And so we we got some snow last night. And I, you know, did a video for you guys to show you guys how much snow we got. You can check that out later. But, um, yeah, I mean... It's just, I feel really bad, guys. We got, also got some flood reports. We'll check this out. So we got report of a car stranded. So that's that stuff, that's that kind of flooding where it's it can you can stall cars. So that's most likely, like, you know, feet of water on the road. So that's not, that's really not good. So right, right around Norman, Oklahoma, got flooding and a stranded vehicle in the University of Oklahoma campus. Another... N you know, another just turn around, don't drown, guys. I mean, really. I mean, there's just so many reports of stalled cars. I mean, this storm. If people don't take this storm seriously, you know, there's gonna be. It's gonna be fatal. Or it's gonna be fatalities. Um, we're really lucky because I'm not. I'm. Um, I don't. I don't believe that we have had any reports of any. Injuries, of course, no fatalities so far, but uh, these storms are still showing really strong, really strong life. Um, I think, uh, watch a Rustin, you guys, Monor, um, Winsboro, if this storm, if the, if this cell right here, you know, continues along its projected path, you guys should get hit pretty hard. Um, so, you know, Vicksburg. When th when this uh, line of storms move into Jackson, I think it'll um, have. I think that there will be a bigger chance for hail, um, and flooding. So Mississippi, um, and then even possible possible. Uh, I don't know. Now this time Tennessee. I don't think we'll have as bad flooding. So Tennessee guys will be all right. But you could get hit by some thunderstorms. And we have our uh, blizzard up here in the Dakotas. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, sorry for the short update. I was in school earlier. Um, I'll give you guys a bigger, larger, and longer update um, this evening. So thanks for watching, guys.